name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, forever. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, peace on earth, and good hope to all forever. Amen. Strengthen our Lord and our God, our weakness, by your mercy, that we may celebrate the holy mysteries which have been given for the renewal and redemption of our weak nature through the mercy of your beloved Son, our Lord of all, forever. While the pleasant fragrance of your tender love embraces us, our Lord and our God, our souls are enlightened by the knowledge of your truth. May we be made worthy to welcome the revelation of your beloved Son from heaven. There we will praise you unceasingly and glorify you in your crowned church, which is filled with all graces and blessings, for you are the Lord and creator of all forever. La khumarat kulla mawdena. Lord, you are truly the giver of life to our bodies, the good savior of our souls, and the faithful guardian of our lives. It is right to thank and praise and glorify you at all times, O Lord of all, forever. Thank you. 
enlighten our thoughts, our Lord and our God, that we may be attentive to understand and savor the sweetness of your life-giving and divine commands. Grant that through your grace and mercy we might benefit from them the gifts of love, hope, and salvation that befits both our body and soul. And always sing a perpetual praise to you at all times, O Lord of all, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit forever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. Baruch May Christ instruct you in his holy teachings. The two angels came to Sodoma in the evening, and Lot was sitting in the gate of Sodoma. When Lot saw them, he rose to meet them, and urged them to enter his house. And he made them a feast, and baked unleavened bread, and they ate. But before they lay down, the man of the city of Sodoma, both young and old, surrounded the house, and they called to Lot, Where are the men who came to you tonight? Bring them out to us, that we may know them. Lot went out of the door to the man, shut the door after him, and said, I beg you, brothers, my brothers, do not act so wickedly. When morning dawned, the angels urged Lot, saying, Arise, take your wife and your two daughters who are here, lest you be consumed in the punishment of the city. Then the Lord reigned on Sodom and Gomorrah brim, brimstone and fire from the Lord out of heaven, and he overthrew those cities and all the valley and all the inhabitants of the cities and what grow on the ground. But Lot's wife behind him looked back, and she became a pillar of salt. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans, Baruch Mar. May Christ instruct you in his holy teachings. Why do you pass judgment on your brother? Or why do you despise your brother? For we shall all stand before the judgment seat of God. For it is written, As I live, says the Lord, every knee shall bow to me, and every tongue shall give praise to God. Then let us, no more, let us pass no more judgment to one another, but rather decide never to put a stumbling block in the way of a brother. I know and am persuaded in the Lord Jesus that nothing is unclean in itself, but it is unclean for anyone who thinks it is unclean. If your brother is being injured by what you eat, you are no longer walking in love. Do not let what you eat cause the ruin of one from whom Christ died. For the kingdom of God does not mean food and drink, but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. He who thus serves Christ is acceptable to God and approved by men. Let us then pursue what makes for peace and for mutual upbuilding. Do not, for the sake of food, destroy the work of God. Grace and peace be with you, my brothers and sisters. Amen. Let us stand in preparation to hear the Holy Gospel. Shlama
Evangelion Qaddisha Dmaran Isham Shiha Karuzuthat Yohanna My brothers and sisters, this is a reading from the Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Saint John. Glory to Christ our Lord. Jesus said, I am the Good Shepherd. The Good Shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. He who is hireling and not a shepherd whose own the sheeps are not, sees the wolf coming and leaves the sheep and flees. And the wolf snatches them and scatters them. He flees because he is a hireling and cares nothing for the sheep. I am the good shepherd. I know my own, and my own know me. As the Father knows me, and I know the Father, and I lay down my life for the sheep. And I have other sheep that are not of this fold. I must bring them also, and they will heed my voice. So there shall be one flock, one shepherd. And for this reason, the Father loves me because I lay down my life. Qala Yasu' li talamidhihi Ana al-ra'i salih wa al-ra'i salihu yudahi بحياته في سبيل الخراف وما الأجير مثل الراعي لأن الخراف لا يخصه فإذا رأى, رأى الذئب هاجما ترك الخراف وهرب فيخطف الذئب الخراف ويهددها وهو يهرب لأنه أجير لا تهمه الخراف أنا الراعي الصالح أعرف خرافي وخرافي تعرفني مثل ما يعرفني الآب وأعرف أنا الآب وأضحي بحياتي في سبيل خرافي ولي خراف أخرى غير هذه الحضيرة فيجب علي أن أقودها هي أيضا ستسمع صوتي فتكون الرعية واحدة والراعي واحدا والآب يحبني لأني أضحي بحياتي حتى أستردها أشوحا لا لها أمينا إيد برك ثيد مريا عليكم Good morning to all of you, my beloved. I start with the three servers of the English Mass, and of course, uh, to all of you who are listening to this Mass via the uh, social networking. This is <clears throat> the third Sunday that we are going 
<clears throat> through these arrangements by which uh, we have all of you at homes listening, participating spiritually uh, in the Mass and receiving by your faith the grace of the Eucharist and the Word of God. In today's Gospel, Jesus uses a phrase or a language that is not very much familiar to us as it was at his time. He uses the word shepherd and sheep. He is the good shepherd, the only true shepherd that every other good shepherd in the world and the church and the family takes from Jesus the example of goodness and the rest of us are the sheep. We sometimes probably do not fully relate to this word as sheep, but this language has its own importance. The relationship, especially at Jesus' time, the relationship that exists between the shepherd and the sheep. You see, sheep have the tendency to get in trouble because they are simpleton. They are very simple creatures. They get in trouble by two main faults. One is their own and the other one is not their own. The one that they themselves, they go after the grass and sometimes they go far away from the flock, from the shepherd, from their center, and consequently, even sometimes they fall in pits. And they cannot get out on their own. That's the problem number one they have. <clears throat> The second problem is sheep cannot really defend themselves well. So you see wolves attacking them, trying to uh, kill them and eat their flesh. And also thieves, people, come and steal them in order to sell them. So shepherds are helpless creatures unless there is a shepherd there or unless there are guards, uh, uh, guarding dogs uh, that can really protect them. So in our situation, in our world, I find a lot of consolation in this language that is shepherd and sheep because it gives a signal to us, we the people, we who live in this world, sometimes find ourselves really helpless in the face of the many challenges that, you ha that we have. So as a principle, I like to share with you this morning this advice. Whenever you are in a situation where you really cannot help yourself, where you cannot resolve your problem, whether these problems are of your own mistake or of other people's wrongdoing against you, the thing that all of us we need to do is just to say a prayer to Jesus, say, Lord Jesus, you know very well what is my situation. I cannot save myself. I ask you, I plead to you, I plead to the Father to send you and save me from this, from this trouble, from this difficulty. You are the Good Shepherd who really cares for his flock. This is such a relevant prayer, such a relevant idea for what we are experiencing today. And it is suitable because we find ourselves stuck. We find ourselves in this very difficult situation with Corona 
pandemic. 151 countries in the world are inflicted, some of them with severe damages and death. Hundreds of thousands of people are sick. And still, people, the world has not been able to contain this pandemic. And there is a lot of unknown coming out. So we are in a situation that we, many of us feel we need help. Today, the Good Shepherd comes and tell us, here I am, just call upon me, I will be with you. In fact, I came and gave my life for your sake. So at Lent, our prayers are heard. There are so many people praying today. They really pray for the sake that God will save his creation. Jesus will save the world as he saved us from death. He will again intervene and save us from coronavirus. You see, but there is also, I need to say, a couple more short reflections. In our confrontation of this disease and the consequences that have brought to us. And one consequence is our churches are empty because you are sitting at home now listening to the mass. It's an experience that we never had. Actually, the church is telling you. Uh, usually, we ask you to come to churches. Don't stay at home. Don't watch TV. But this time, we told you to stay home. And there is a lot of suffering. There is a lot of heartbreaking. There is a lot of worry, worries that people are away from the church, that people are afraid of this disease. Don't worry. This suffering and worrying that you are going through, it's your participation of the way of the cross. This is how... Through these circumstances, you will, come, you will become more united with Christ in his suffering. You are carrying the, the consequence of mistakes of other people, whether intentional or accidental, that this thing has happened, but we should not be drifted and drawn into that, those worries. But we have the hope of a promise, salvation. But at the meantime, let us unite our suffering with the suffering of Christ. I know many of you are worried about their health. Many of you mentally are feeling depressed because you are staying at home especially children that are very active and they have life of their own. They find themselves stuck at home uh, for a whole day. Kids, I want to speak with you. It's okay. Your parents and your school are telling you to stay home. You must stay home. This is for your own good. Because if you go out, you might... Uh, be infected. You might get this disease and it might hurt you or it might hurt other, uh, others in your family. Uh, so stay home, stay clean, stay quiet, uh, uh, be reflective, uh, be kind to your siblings and to your parents. And parents, I know many of you are thinking, what do I do? Uh, when I am not working, I'm providing for my family. Well, God knows what you are going through. And I ask you today to unite your suffering, your worries, the cross that you are carrying now, united with the cross of Christ. The last thing that I like 
to reflect on is the fact that many of you are really broken from the inside because they feel so far away from the Eucharist. They yearn, they love to receive the Eucharist, but they are unable. Well, please don't be worried. Jesus said, He who eats my body and drinks my blood, I abide in him, in him, and he abides in me. Already you have received the Eucharist many times. Jesus is in your soul. Jesus is in your body. Jesus lives in your faith. So don't worry. Jesus is within you. And today, you just heard the word of God, the word of Jesus. It's the same effect like the Eucharist. Especially when the church tells you, it's okay, stay home and listen to the mass. Join the priest in spirit, the, the mass, the celebration that he is celebrating. And listen to the word of God. This is another way that you receive the Jesus, Jesus just like you receive him in the communion. And so today, <clears throat> uh, a few days ago, uh, the Holy Father, the Pope, through his Vatican uh, department, uh, and our Chaldean patriarch, his beatitude, uh, Cardinal Luis Sacco, also issued directives, both they are asking us to continue to stay home, but listen to the masses that are being streamed. Uh, if this condition, this situation will continue uh, uh, during Holy Week and Easter. Uh, they ask, please sit together as a family. I hope you are doing that uh, right now. The parents and the children are together listening to the Mass, just like you come here uh, in the church. It's the same thing, really. Uh, it's a different way, but in reality, as far as the Lord Jesus is concerned, he will today come in your heart because in faith you are listening to this Mass. Share the spirit of the Mass, participate with the priest and the bishop in prayer. Uh, I ask you also not to forget the instructions and rules that comes from the government. Clean your hands, always. Don't touch uh, your face, uh, because when we touch our face, whether it's the nose, the eye, the mouth, the ears, we might have dirty hands, and that's how we could get the disease. Don't shake other people's hand. Keep the social distancing intact. Don't go to uh, gatherings that are more than four or five people. Stay home, stay smart, and stay clean. And today, at this Mass, we offer all our suffering. We offer your suffering. We offer your hopes. We offer your prayers to the love of the one and only good shepherd that exists to our Lord Jesus Christ. May Christ enter your hearts during this Mass, heal you, encourage you, strengthen you, and be with you and protect you and all the world from every harm that we see and we don't see. Amen. Let us stand, well with faith and hope, and let us implore and say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. 
that we may come to our Lord nourished by his grace and blessed by his abundant gifts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. May Christ's Eucharistic gift make us faithful stewards of God's abundant blessings by inspiring us to serve him according to his will here on earth. We pray to the Lord. Together, let us entrust our souls to the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit forever. To you, O Lord, our God. May Christ, who was sacrificed for our salvation and ordered us to make a memorial of his death, burial, and resurrection, accept the sacrifice from our hands by his grace and mercy forever. Amen. By your command, our Lord and God, are these holy, life-giving, and divine mysteries set and arranged upon the absolving altar until the second coming of our Lord from heaven, to whom be glory at all times and forever. Amen. May this sacrifice be accepted and sanctified by the word of God and the Holy Spirit, that it may be for our health and salvation and life everlasting in the kingdom of heaven through the grace of Christ. Shuhala wa ulawra wa ruha dhqud shah al madhbah qud shah dukhrana Dabthulta Mariam imme dalaha. Min alam wa'adham mil alam amin wa amin. Shliha wa jawira rahma wa jihida. Salla wa nehwe shayna fawritha. Nehmar kulli amma amin wa amin. دخران مر الدي على المذبح قذ شام كنا دنصاح وساد دتكلل We believe. Creator of all that is seen and unseen, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, the firstborn of all creation, eternally begotten of the Father, but was not made, true God from true God, one in being with his Father, through him all things were ordered and made, for us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven by the power of the Holy Spirit, he took flesh and became man. He was conceived and was born from the Virgin Mary. He suffered and was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He died and was buried and rose on the third day in fulfillment of the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and sat at the right hand of his Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. We believe in one Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Truth, who proceeds from the Father and the Son as a life-giving spirit. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of our bodies, and life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray to God, the Lord of all, for all the children of the church, especially the poor and the neediest, for peace in Iraq and throughout the world, and for the perpetual intentions of our beloved deceased as listed. Prayer for the seventh for Riyadh Joseph Hanabiko. Prayer for the 40th for Luis Risco and Bashir Polos. And prayer for the year for Sura Mikhail Nisan and her son Yusuf Kiwargis Nisan. Also, we pray for the late Yusuf Hormis Shamun Alionan who passed away in Australia. May these offerings be accepted for them. Amen. And we raise to you glory, honor, thanksgiving, and praise now at all time and forever and ever. <coughs> 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 The 
the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with us all, now at all times, and forever and ever. Amen. Lift up your thoughts. To you, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, the King of glory. The sacrifice is offered to God, the Lord of all. It is right and just. Peace be with us. The name of the glorious Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, is worthy from every mouth, thanksgiving from every tongue, and adoration and exaltation from all creation. O Lord, you created the world in your grace and its inhabitants in your compassion. Redeem mankind in your mercy with countless heavenly beings who worship your greatness, myriads of angels, being of light and spirit who glorify your name, and with the holy cherubim, spiritual seraphim, who offer adoration to your majesty, we proclaim by saying, When the time came for him to suffer and approach death, on the night he was betrayed, he took bread with his sacred hands, raised his eyes to you, God, his almighty Father, gave you thanks and blessed. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you for the forgiveness of sin. <clears throat> In a similar manner, after the supper, <coughs> He took the cup with his sacred hands and gave you thanks and blessed. He gave the cup to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is my blood. The blood of the ever new and everlasting covenant the mystery of faith which will be shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Amen. Whenever you do this, do it in remembrance of me. As you have commanded us, we, your humble, weak, and feeble servants, have gathered here to celebrate your great mercy towards us, which cannot be repaid. For you, our Lord and our God, have assumed our humanity that we might live in your divinity, exalted our loneliness, raised us from our fall, revived our mortality, forgiven our debts, justified our sinfulness, enlightened our minds, and overcome our enemies. And for all your help and graces towards us, we lift up to you glory, honor, thanksgiving, and praise, now at all times, and forever and ever. Yeah. <clears throat>
<clears throat> Lord God Almighty, accept the sacrifice which we offer you for all your blessings bestowed upon our Lady, the Blessed Mary, ever virgin, and all the just and pious fathers who have been pleasing to you, and on all the prophets and apostles, martyrs and confessors. We offer it also for the Holy Catholic Church and for our Holy Fathers, Mar Francis, the Supreme Pontiff, the Pope of Rome, Mar Luis, our Catholicos, Patriarch, to all bishops, priests, deacons, monks, and nuns. Accept the sacrifice, O Lord God Almighty, for all those who are in sorrow and distress, the needy and weary, the sick and afflicted, especially with the disease of corona, for all the deceased who have departed from our midst, for this people who gaze at your mercy. May this sacrifice be accepted, our Lord and God, for all of those who stand before your holy altar. Hear their prayers, pardon their sins, and forgive their inequities. Also for our country, Canada, and our city, Toronto. And all those who dwell in them, protect them, O Lord, by your grace, and remove from them every evil. And we also, O Lord, we, your weak servants, who are gathered in your name and stand before you at this moment, we have received through tradition the example of your Son, while rejoicing, glorifying, and exalting. We commemorate and perform this great life-giving and divine mystery of the passion, death, burial, and resurrection of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. In silence and in reverence, stand and pray that peace <coughs> be with us. Nethma Ruha Qaddisha Unetni Qalqurba May your Holy Spirit come, O Lord, and rest upon this sacrifice to bless it and sanctify it. May it become for us, for the pardon of debts, the forgiveness of sins, the great hope for the resurrection of the dead, <clears throat> and new life in the kingdom <clears throat> of heaven with all who have pleased you for this great and marvelous providence for us. We praise you and glorify you without ceasing in your church redeemed by the precious blood of your Christ with praise on our lips and radiant faces. We raise glory, honor, thanksgiving, and praise to your living, holy, and living God, life-giving name, now at all times and forever and ever. Amen. O oh Christ, the peace of those in heaven and the great hope of those on earth Fill the world with your peace and harmony, O Lord, especially in your holy Catholic Church. Bring harmony between church and state, put an end to wars on earth, and disperse the nations that desire war, so that we may live a peaceful and calm life in purity and fear of God. Our Lord and our God, may the mercy of your grace draw us near to these glorious, holy, life-giving, and divine mysteries, unworthy though we are. We approach your holy mysteries, O Lord, 
with true faith. In your mercy we break, and in your compassion we sign the life-giving body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit forever. The precious blood is signed with the life-giving body of our Lord Jesus Christ in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The sacred body is signed with the forgiving blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit forever. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with us all, now at all times, and forever and ever. Amen. Let us approach with fear and reverence the mystery of the precious body and blood of our Savior. With a pure heart and true faith, let us recall his passion and meditate on his resurrection. For our sake, the only begotten of God took from humanity a mortal body with a rational, spiritual, and immortal soul by his life-giving laws and his holy commandments, he led us from sin to the knowledge of the truth after his, his plan of salvation for us. The firstborn of our humanity was tested on the cross. He rose from the dead and ascended into heaven. He gave us his holy mysteries by which we recall all his graces for us. Therefore, with overflowing love and a humble will, let us receive the gift of eternal life. Let us participate in the mysteries of the church through pure prayer and deep contrition, with hope in our repentance as we convert from our iniquities, weep over our sins, and ask mercy and pardon from God. The Lord of all, we forgive our neighbors their offenses. Let us purify our consciousness from divisions and disputes. Lord, forgive our sins and offenses. Let us purify our souls from hatred and hostility. Lord, forgive our sins and offenses. Let us receive this communion and be sanctified by the Holy Spirit. Lord, forgive our sins and offenses. United in one mind and in harmony, let us receive the fullness of this sacrament. That this mystery, Lord, be for the resurrection of our bodies and the salvation of our souls. And everlasting life. Let us pray. Peace be with us. Forgive our Lord in your mercy the sins and offenses of your servants and sanctify our lips by your grace. Make us worthy, our Lord and our God, to always stand before you without fault, with pure hearts radiant faces, and filial confidence from you through the mercy you have given us. We call upon you together and say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. 
and forgive, forgive us, us our, our trespasses, trespasses as, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, temptation but deliver us from evil. evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Yes, O Lord God Almighty, you are good and Father full of mercy. We beg you and implore the greatness of your mercy. No, Lord, do not, O Lord, lead us into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one and his hosts. For yours is the kingdom, the power, the strength, the fortitude, and the authority in heaven and on earth, now at all times and forever and ever. Shlama Amchon Kuchal Kadishi Ya Shalmutha Jesus. When you 
by the grace of the Holy Spirit, we have all approached and participated in the reception of these glorious, holy, life-giving, and divine mysteries. Let us all together thank and glorify God who has given them. Praise to him for his indescribable gift. Let us pray. Peace be with us. It is right always, O Lord and just at all times and proper at every hour to thank, bless, and glorify the greatness of your name. For it is in your goodness, O Lord, that you have allowed the weak nature of mortals, men, together with the celestial spirits, to praise your name and to take part in words and praise your divinity with chant of praise and glory at all times, O Lord of all, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit forever. He who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing from heaven by our Lord Jesus Christ has given us his body and blood as a promise of life that cannot be corrupted. May he bless our families, protect and heal all sick people, give salvation to those who have departed. Amen. And bless all of us who have been renewed by the power of these glorious, holy, life-giving and divine mysteries and by the living sign of this holy cross, may you be sealed and protected from every evil hidden or manifest now at all times and forever and ever. So the announcements for this week are, uh, due to the situation involving the coronavirus, we ask all our faithful to, uh, to follow the cathedral's official Facebook page, to be united with the bishop and priests in all of the prayers, closed masses, and the stations of the cross, and to be saved from this disease. Thank you. <laughs> 